Good morning and welcome to a very misty Oliver's Mount. Uh, it's just gone six o'clock in the morning and I'm up early because I got here late last night. We got the awning up and got some bikes out, but nothing's quite as ready as I would like. Um, I've actually got four bikes running here this weekend. I'm riding my Super Twin and my Classic 750 ZXR. I've also got a second ZXR 750 being ridden by uh, Chad, by Adam Charles, my mate and a little ZX6 being ridden by Martin Morris, the Obsession Engineering protege. Um, but yes, it's, uh, it's been a hectic few days, so I've still got the last finishing touches to put in the bikes, just, you know, a few stickers here and there, petroling them, make sure they're on the right tyres. So, it's an early start, and um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a delayed start, because the sea mists rolled in, and everything's a bit wet. It's not ideal, but we're here, so we're going to make the best of it. So then, Martin, what, what do you think to your new stickers? Yeah, very nice, David, thank you. <laughs> right, so it's um, half past ten in the morning, half past ten-ish, uh, and we're delayed because of the fog, but we've got all the bikes are scrutineered. Uh, Martin's got his old plates on. Uh, Chad's bike's ready and he decided half an hour ago that he wanted it in race shift not road shift so we changed that. Uh, my bikes are done and ready. Uh, Rob's, you know, making the place look good. And now the tannoy is uh, interrupting us. But yeah, we're set, ready, we're just waiting for the fog to clear. So just done the first, uh, like the newcomer sighting lap, so Martin's been out for his first ever time. The circuit is very much half wet, half dry, which is uh, far from ideal. And it's quite foggy out the back, so visibility and very good but the first sort of proper uh, sort of practice sessions are now out on track uh, but they're going to be yellow flagged down the back to uh, speed control them and it's not officially timed so I've done a couple of laps uh, taking the newcomers around on the twin we're just uh, changing tyres in uh, in Chad 750 and uh, yeah Martin's putting a bit of petrol in and then it'll be go for actual practice so just done the first three practice sessions on both bikes. Um, it's dry, well I'm on dries, but it's a little bit patchy, it's a little bit sort of damp and greasy under the trees and places. But I think it's dry, it's too dry for wet, so I'm on dry is going all right. Um, literally just having sort of a bit of a cruise around because it's sort of not official qualifying, it was just time practice. So yeah, it's going all right. Um, the twin is performing all right. It's just first time we've had it here and because I wasn't really committing with it, it's not perfect, but that's to do with my riding. The 750, uh, that's going really well. It rides nicely. Again, I just need to load it up a little bit more. Rob, Rob isn't doing anything naught behind there. He's, um, he's actually draining fuel out of it. Uh, Chad's one's going all right. We've just got the gear lever to alter position because we've changed it round and I think we've got it a little bit wrong. So he's all right with that. He was on slicks in that session. In the holding area, people thought he was mental. Um, and Martin's back out for his qualifying uh, on his newbie bike soon. So yeah, it's going all right. Jesse's just getting ready to do surgery. So you're about to do your first road racing qualifying, Martin. What's going through your head? <laughs> Cracking? <laughs> Not unhappy. Nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, once you're out there though. Martin sat down the other end nervous because he's about to do quali. Are you nervous, Chad? No. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this sort of thing before, haven't you? Yeah. I've been nervous about riding the, uh, the Yamaha, but... No, the time's coming down, I'm trying to dry it out. Very. I'm not worried about what my hair looks like in this video. It, it looks thin. <laughs> right, first quality done. What are you thinking? Now it's dry, mostly. Once you get to know where you're going, it's alright. It's not bad. Uh, 250 Yamaha. Not, not going to expand on that for me at all, are you? <laughs> a bit narrow. There's three jumps. <laughs> Against the it's big quick. bikes, and, it's and then you're doing 20 mile an hour on a hairpin. It's, uh, it's a bit. A harem scare of character is steady. He's a good laugh. He always has been, but he takes his race. <laughs> just, in, just in from Collie. Well, I've actually done Collie on both bikes. Just in from the 750 because that was the sort of last session of the day. Other than a couple of red flags for people just uh, slipping off 
what looks to be unhurt. Uh, yeah, decent little session. Uh, I think I'm seventh or something. Seventh. I'm seventh. Chad's fourteenth, which isn't bad on a nearly standard ZXR 750 against some of the uh, real nice tackle that's out there. So that's gone well. Uh, twins. Uh, just going to make a bit of a change to the gearing and bits, but it's going well. Join ourselves in the circuit, nearly dry, so I'm hoping the fog doesn't come in too much overnight. So, uh, yeah, I think we're doing all right. Martin's happy. You can't tell. <laughs> Rob's happy. Rob's always happy. Chad's happy. Always happy. And Jesse's happy. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Day over. <laughs> Good morning to day two at uh, Oliver's Mount. Just having a bit of breakfast, sat in the uh, back of the van, in the master suite as I call it. Um, it was a good afternoon yesterday, everybody's qualified pretty well, so today is race day. Yay! We get to go racing. Uh, had a good barbecue with some sponsors last night, which was spot on, and then I had a very refreshing stone cold shower. Um, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, good night's sleep in the pit, and we're pretty much ready to go. It's a lot calmer this morning because the bikes were all ready last night. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Let's go racing. Just done morning warm up, a uh, little bit of a quick shifter thing on Martin ZX6 because he's got a crappy Dynajet quick shifter on it. Um, but we've played around with the settings on it, so hopefully that'll be alright. Uh, Chad's happy, even though he doesn't look it. Bye bye, the twins go well, I'm first race out in a few minutes, so yeah, it's all go. Right, so we've just all done our first races, so Martin is now officially a road racer. Hey! No longer a homosexual. Uh, and then me and Chad have just been out on the classic superbikes. Uh, I think I was 7th or 8th or something. Chad was a bit behind me for a few laps, I could actually see him as I was coming out a couple of the hairpins. Um, and then him and then Guy Martin had got past him and was sort of closing in a little bit. Um, I got a little bit of traffic, well I say traffic, I got stuck behind a guy and in the end I had to bug him on the last lap. Uh, it was a bit, actually I, um, I thought I'd outbreak myself but I'd definitely outbreak him. Uh, so yeah it was good fun, he's happy, 
Move on to the next race now. Second super twin race, we got a red flag because uh, Roger Wibley uh, decided he didn't want to sit on his bike anymore, but he's all right. Um, apparently, his clocks might have gone through some of his caravan, but yeah, it's a mere detail, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we had a three lap restart, and I tend to go back on a longer race, uh, but I had a good race. Next race is Carsley, and the big noisy! Um, yeah, got a good little race with Justin Waring on his Moto 3 bike and managed to just ride around the outside of him on the last lap because my bike's faster than his. And then I blocked him so he couldn't get underneath me at their last hairpin and he went firing straight past me about 30 mile an hour and I think he might be in Scarborough by now. But yeah, it was good fun. A little bit drizzly so I wasn't maybe pushing as hard in that race. But it's good fun. Uh, one more super bike race to go and mine's out next. Oh, and they're coming. Oh, why have you got 20 pounds in the back of your phone? Why, why would you not have 20 pounds in the back of your phone? It's just, you've got to look like you've got money when you're wandering around, haven't you? Where do you put your phone when you go racing? In my pants. It's not worth 20 quid, is it? Unless you've got one of them, like, grabbing games from the seafront. I mean, jumping from one... No, I still don't even with the grabbing I can't believe you've got people cleaning the quest out and your bike. Well, I have a man for that. Look, look, I have a, I have a spare Andy. Where is Andy? And, and Andy doesn't come to Scar. Andy doesn't actually like me anymore, I don't think. So Andy, no, he does, he does really. He just, you know. He'd have loved my TZ, it's a proper one. Well, yeah, but he's not here, so. Rather than his. Yeah. Well, no, so it's all right, because we've got a spare Andy. Oh. That's why we call him Spandy. The guy do you want him to clean your helmet? He will. No, I'm fine. Where this I can do my own stuff, although there my leathers are really dirty. <laughs> yeah. I got like... I'm even put the panic is off limits, so please remain in the safe <laughs> Just lay them out next <laughs> to... <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 they're just laid out. You could do is just the liner coming out, a quick wash back in. And uh, and clean it because there's a lot of two stroke fluid on the shoes. My boots are quite dirty. Oh, two, two stroke fluid, you say? Well, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> was I excited to ride that motor two bike? <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> but I've already been reported. Because it's too noisy. Bring in the back straight. <laughs> <laughs> John said, did you do any wheelies? I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, that, that GP bike wheelies well, did it? He did the back straight. <laughs> <laughs> Just done the last race, the 600 is about to go out for the last race of the day. Uh, classic Superbike race was good fun. They got it cut down to six laps because there's been a few um, 
delays during the day. But yeah, good fun. Uh, don't actually know where, know where I finished, but the had a good little scrap and did some elbows out, so that was good crack. Uh, Adam's waving random eight fingers at me, but that's all the fingers he's got. So that was good. Martin went faster again in his last race, but he's got a bit of a problem with the gearbox in the ZX6, so we've had a bit of a play with that, and hopefully we might get it a bit better for tomorrow. But he's going faster, even with the problem with the bike, so that's really good news. Um, Chad didn't do the last race because he's old and unfit. <laughs> Um, and he broke with somebody's TZ250, uh, so, you know, he didn't want to get told off and breaking two things in a day. Rob's had a lovely day, out, haven't you, Rob? Haven't you? I've had a brilliant time. Good, excellent, well scripted. Uh, Adam's here as well. Yeah, that'll do for the day. Welcome to day three at Oliver's Mound. It's been raining overnight. Not horrendous, it's not like loads of standing water, it's just wet. Uh, and there's a few practice sessions and I'm race number one so I think the twin will probably be on wets which will be interesting because I've never actually ridden it on wets before uh, other than the Newcomer laps that were done at sort of 10% speed but that's all right um, Martin's grids have been rearranged on the 600 he's now pole for the C group so that's uh, going to be uh, exciting for him he doesn't particularly like the wet so he's got to start from pole in what will probably still be a wet race by then but, got to do these things, it'll be good, good experience for him. So yeah, we're sort of raring to go, I think. Uh, I think greasy is the best description. Half the circuit that's not under the trees is quite dry, quite grippy, sort of knee down over the curves with the S's and bits, and then you're breaking in some of the hairpins and the bikes backing in over the damp patches, which is kind of entertaining but also a little bit sketchy because it makes you think there's no grip. Uh, there's been a couple of people sat on the bump coming out of the top hairpin, Locker and Gary Graves, who did it right in front of me, and I was lucky not to run over his nuts. I mean, I did aim for them, but you know. Uh, yeah, so that was a bit sketchy, but we're on wets for that, but we're out on the superbikes next, and I've got that on dries, because I think the circuit's probably dried enough to keep the heat in them, and when it goes greasy, the wets don't work, so you may as well be on a dry anyway, or at least that's my argument, and we're going to try it. Fingers crossed. Yeah.
just come in from the first classic superbike race and the conditions were greasy, but the track's mostly dry, it's like 80% dry. So I went out on dry tyres and they sat in the holding area for a bit, so I was a bit, first couple of laps were a bit steady because I was a bit worried about tyre temperature. But they got me head down, taken a few positions back, uh, got overtaken by some bloke from Lincolnshire with some big sideburns, who was on dry tyres as well because I told him to, so I'll take credit for that. Uh, yeah, just had a real good fun little race, just a few laps to get the confidence in and it was a good job. So we've got two more uh, Superbike races yet and another twin. Congratulations to Martin, he went out from the front row of uh, Group C on the 600 in really iffy conditions and got second place. So really pleased for him, doesn't tend to like the wet, so for him to do that, absolutely brilliant. Uh, not a bad start, but I got boxed in at the first corner. You probably can't even hear this. I uh, got boxed in at the first corner, cost me a few positions, but then actually got a good little race, overtook a few people, had a bit of fun chasing both, but I just couldn't quite get past him. Uh, it's, uh, it's raining up the top of the circuit more and more each lap. You can see umbrellas getting popped up in the crowd. So, but look, we're going quick enough, we can keep tight temperatures out of the just, just getting a little bit spinny in places. A good fun, but back out on the twin in a second, so I've got to take the elbow off. Thank you for making me sign up, David. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> good, yeah. I killed you on Friday after my first session out. But what? You brought me to. It's all right. I like it. I'll definitely come back again. So you, now, now you're a real road racer, and you'll no longer have to be a big for at Scarborough. Yeah. You know, you feel like a real man. <laughs> We're at our sort of tail end of the afternoon. I've got one race left on the Superbike, but Martin's done all of his now. Uh, I was out on the twin, and to be fair, those races were getting a little bit um, damp. Uh, it was quite a lot of, sort of rain on the visor, and we're on dries. And like the twin doesn't only wheel spins a little bit, but Martin was saying his bike was sliding everywhere and uh, the oak trees were beginning to look a little bit close. So, uh, no, he's done really well, really proud of him. Um, done the obsession team well. But, yeah, Chad had fun as well, but because he's old and unfit, he's had enough for the day. So, I've got one more soon bike race. Uh, we're just going to cruise around and have a bit of fun. So, just on the last super bike race, Aidy mugged me off the, all, in the first corner. Even though I did it with a flat battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> you yeah. push me back. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a good, well, I say a little dice. I caught Aidy up and then we just basically just sat behind him for the old race, trying to find a way past, but just couldn't quite manage it. So. Good job. Yeah. Good, good job good. by me, really. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was like, the nice thing is, you're riding with somebody like, you know, it's, Aging as AD, you know it's he's not going. Me. You know he's not going to do out daft. It's good fun, so you can be fast fairly close. Smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, no I didn't. Yeah, that's ah. bullying because battery was going dead. You know it's like a but 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 out yeah. corner. Yeah, I, I can hear it. You can have an intermittent one point. Last corner, you can see it up in there. Yeah, but uh, well, it cut dead, so I didn't cut. Yeah, and just there. Right. Yeah. See what happens now. But when I started revving it harder, it won't rev. And then. Back is going dead. Chasing really you off at the jumps is quite funny because the first couple of little ones, yeah. you can see the back wheel off the floor and there's marks, it giving it marks in the belly pan and everything coming out. And it's like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's right. That's it, we're all finished from Scarborough. I think we've all had a good fun. Have we had a fun, fun? Yeah. Of. And Chad's uh, here, but he's really small so you can't see him. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're just really looking forward to the next time we get to go and race motorbikes.
Thanks for watching and join us again next time for more very professional motorcycle fun.